Welcome back everyone. This is update 0.59. Just a quick apology to the European folks for using the European keyboard layout. I moved the menu function to the tilde key which uh, many of them don't have in that keyboard layout. So, um, so my apologies. I have uh, added a function now you can hit enter key to bring this up. And then for those of you who use the numpad, you can also use the numlock button to tr trigger this menu. So now you have these options. I will be implementing a full key binding utility where you can choose whatever key you want to bind to all those that are shown on the right here. So yeah, just get that out of the way again. Sorry. So for this update, we have a lot of new props. Uh, first one I want to share with you is the floating custom text object. So if you go bring up your menu, if you go to stage markers, you see this thing called custom text. Now there were requests from some, uh, let me just put it, uh, bind it to my uh, shortcut bar here. There are some requests for um, ability to add your own text instead of having, you know, like, uh, let's say a target with this T1 here. Some people don't want a T1, they want to call it maybe A1 or or engage first or whatever text you need so instead of that you can hide it and press Y to hide the, the, the text and then you drop the custom text to any way you want it's a little bit high up here if you want to increase you can just hit T and then G to lower it's just like any other prop so what, what you do is you just drop it here and then if you highlight it you can change the colors right you can change it to red whatever color you want green and if you want to change the text you hit I and then there's a text box here that appears on top and you can type whatever you want so let's say uh, target A or something like that you know so you can now have this text floating on top so then you can then customize your text and put whatever you want here which is I think which is a pretty cool feature the next update is the medium gray grid ground texture so if you escape you go to change bay now you can select ground texture to medium gray and it will show you this gray texture with white lines. I think somebody also requested for this so I decided to put this in as well. And also made the HUD a lot more easier to see as you can see uh, most of the text is now on top of a black border, a black background so you can actually see it depending on what kind of color you're using in your bay. I think somebody was also providing some feedback that it was very hard to see that text. Um, just, just a reminder you can hide that by hitting tap to hide the entire UI if you think that's too busy and tap to bring it back right then now for the bulk of the update uh, new props new swinging and moving props so essentially this was uh, given to me by Dane uh, who is a mesh director I believe for IDPA so he he designs a lot of IDPA stages and so he has given me suggestions for a few things the first one is the IR sensor now you have a 2 meter IR sensor instead of a of a, of a one meter one so it's uh, extended range if you like so now this is a two meter sensor that you can just um, use as your trigger so the next ones are uh, IDPA swingers so you now you have an IDPA swinger left swinger right you have an IDPA drop turner you have an IDPA clamshell and you also have these three cool um, swinging objects if you like the IDPA out and back and then let me just drop off this here and we activate them all at the same time and then we have this um, this is called the cascading three targets and then an IDPA double swinger right so let me show you how this work uh, essentially this one's here when you activate the target will pop up to the, to the right and then go back and hide behind the target okay so this is a I would, in USB say we'll call this a disappearing target and then this Cascading is basically when you activate this one target will fall forward up then the next one will fall forward and then the third one will fall forward And then this one here is a double swinger essentially there are two swingers one for the target and one for the no shoot And they will swing in opposite directions And so uh, we also ha I also have the out and back and the cascading targets for USPSA and IPSC You can find those in the uh, relevant areas You have the cascading three and then the USPSA out and back here in USPSA and IPSEC you have the same thing too uh, the out and back and the cascading 3 so let's wire this up so let's drop a popper here and then I'll go to activation mode and link all this together uh, and then this to this so now I'm going to go to simulation mode F10 if I shoot this you first let's take a look at this one here it drops out drops back in 
and then cascading targets will go li- like this and then the double swingers will go like this and they will go a random speed so uh, it makes things a little bit more difficult to predict anyways just wanted to show you these cool swingers uh, thanks again Dane for the suggestion another change is uh, if you want to give feedback now I have a uh, checkbox here that says whether you want to include your email or not instead of typing here because I see some people forget to include their email address here by default this is on if you don't want to include your email so that i don't reply to you you can just turn it off but you know this is on by default it will send me email with your feedback so that i can respond to you i find i get a lot of response from people who don't provide an email it's very hard to reach out and ask for more questions if you like right so hopefully this will help with troubleshooting uh, also a bunch of uh, bug fixes, things with target counts in uh, IDPA, uh, written stage briefings, uh, the prop selection, for instance, this menu did not persist at all. Every time it keeps going back to USPSA, so now I've changed that. Uh, I've also brightened the shortcut buttons at the bottom and also here all these buttons have been brightened up. It used to be a little bit dark for some reason. Uh, and. Also, now if you notice, uh, some people were struggling with uh, when changing the stage design. So, for instance, if you change the dimensions of the bay, there are certain times where if you change, let's say, the dimensions to 20, you will find yourself outside of the bay. Uh, you'll find yourself that the bay is on the left-hand side for some reason. So now I've basically made it so that every time you change your bay or load an existing bay design, you will be placed uh, into the middle of the bay so you'll never get lost anymore. So yeah, that's it. So this is uh, update 0.59. Again, if you want to give me feedback, please go over to the menu, provide feedback here. Or you can go to a Discord channel. The link to the Discord channel is in the YouTube description. And also, you can send me uh, send me email at info at ancientskygames.com. Uh, apart from that, I uh, hope to see you on Discord. Um, hope you all have a great weekend. I have a match coming this Sunday, so very excited. Hopefully, I can post some videos after that. So apart from that, see you on the range. Take care.